Yo! Video games. Did you see the WoW movie? Oh. No, definitely not. I never saw it. You never saw it. I've never played World of Warcraft. I have never played World of Warcraft or a Warcraft game, and I've never seen the WoW movie. I kind of saw it. Or it wasn't good anyway. High fantasy, yeah. I've just never been into high fantasy stuff. Yeah, I mean, know. until after Lord of the Rings. Well, you don't have to really fucking watch or read any other high fantasy after Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I mean, Dark Souls is about as... It's, it's dark fantasy. Dark fantasy, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's still fantasy. I had fun, though, while I watched it. Man, I watched the speedrun of Dark Souls 2. Only Alpha will get this joke, but Dark Souls 2 looks like a game where... where Everything got to first pass, and they said it's fine. Ship it. Yeah, that game does not have good, <laughs> oh my God. not got good visual design. No, it's got really bad visual. Or design. lighting, and they were playing on the PC version. Yeah, well, that's the that's the thing about Dark Souls too is that it, it got out of the hands of Miyazaki, and it was a little, it had to be made fast, and it was made rough. <laughs> it's still like, in in all honesty, it's still like an eight out of ten great game. You know, Dark Souls Two is still a great goddamn game. But in comparison to the other ones, it's obvious that, like, oh, so this is what it's like when all these things aren't yeah. a problem, you know? And the game's really fun. I mean, if you like the gameplay, like, it's there, I, you know, I, I would imagine it's still. But it's just like, yeah, when you're, like, and you just looking at it, you're like, what happened here? This, like, this does not seem like a finished it is, game. It is very fast and rough type shit. Get that heart, get that Whoa! heart, get that heart. Hey, don't spin, dude. There you go. An inch. But yeah, Dark Souls 2 actually has the best of many Souls games. It has, it does have the best PvP. It's got the most weapon variety really? uh, of any of them. Like, they, that game literally has a, a double saber from PSO in it. Uh. It's got like a dual bladed like that is not in any of the other games. Oh, and Dark Souls 2 potentially has the best New Game Pluses of any of the series, believe it or not. For some reason, Miyazaki's New Game Pluses in all of his direct games aren't great. Like, Dark Souls Bloodborne does not have a great New Game Plus. I remember Dark Souls 3 didn't have a great New Game Plus. But people flipped the fuck out over Dark Souls 2 New Game Pluses. Like, it gave you a lot of reasons to, um, to, to, to try to play the game or beat it again. Yeah, some boss fights in Dark Souls 2 are cool, and most of them aren't. Can you imagine all those quirky, uh, like, you know, one-liners that that fool would be saying? He was doing this right now. Yeah. Tacos and shit. Right? And then he'd be talking to, like, the screen and saying, Oh, why don't you use that one in your inventory? Let me know he breaks the fourth wall. He's breaking the fourth wall right now. Got the spins. Ah. Is Sekiro just a memory to me now? Um, it was good. I don't want to play it again though. Once Sekiro you beat was that game. You're good. Sekiro was good, but I don't want to play it again. May maybe, it maybe in the future when the next Miyazaki game comes out, I'll try it again. Um, Did but... you say something about like the um, enemies became repetitive? Oh the yeah, the the combat in that game became more repetitive than any of the Souls games I played by the end. I was mostly done. Um. I'm glad I I'm glad like a week opened up and I came back and I was able to beat it because I, I was just like running out of time on that game because uh, so much shit was coming out. But there's some very oh, abusable fuck. shit. Goddamn! But did I love it? I thought I thought this is some of the best the best combat in any Souls style game I've ever played in the first uh, in the first probably ten hours of that game. But the last like. The last 10 hours, when I was halfway through, I'm like, I've been doing the same shit for a long time. And then when you try to do other shit, you don't get rewarded for it. It's mostly like, oh, this just isn't as good as doing the basic shit. Okay. Uh, 
I guess he didn't have too many tools in his arsenal to really. No, you have a lot of tools, but those tools just aren't good. Stop. They're just they not, just... and they take a like take a long time to upgrade too. Okay. And they're not they're not nearly as good as like fireworks. It kind of became like a Final Fantasy problem too, where they were just all these crazy system mechanics. Vita, thank you for the And it's like find the one that works the best. Why would you play with anything else? Yeah. And it wasn't like in Sekiro you can switch to a different weapon, you know? You didn't have a different weapon, it was yeah. just the sword. You got new sword arts, but most of the sword arts were just, like, not good. All these fucking guys keep coming back. Um, speaking of PlayStation Vita, would you guys be uh, opposed to a, a new handheld system? No, fuck that. No, it's done. Let's quit it. Switch, 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 switch why, killed why it. Would we, why would we need a new handheld? Yeah. For what point and purpose? PSP did its job, no more. Did. The, PS, the PS Vita would have done good if it just had game for it. The PS Vita would have done good if it just had game for it. Yeah, yeah. So it was expensive. And a battery was... life of like, what, two minutes? I think the battery was... The problem bad. was that the fucking problem memory, that memory card, card that was so expensive. Yeah. They were trying to combat piracy. Good stranger, thank and you. It was the worst way possible. As by passing the expense on the consumer. consumer yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was remarkable. Punish the consumer for, for piracy. Punish the paying customer for what the pirate does. And, that a, and, a, pirate, works out. and a pirate usually has no intention of buying your game anyway, so they're not... Uh, they're you're not, not losing customers. a sale. Yeah, you're not losing a sale. That is, that is the, the gimmick of piracy, yeah. is that someone that's going to pirate a game has no intention of buying the game anyway. You, just, most, not wait, all the he'll time. Wait for the goddamn the emulator, time. and then he'll just download the ROM, and that's it. Who remembers those old ass fucking um, commercials at the beginning of a VHS tape? You wouldn't buy it. You wouldn't steal a car, would you? You wouldn't download a car. I'm like, I don't know about, about that. that. <laughs> if I could download a car. If I could you. download, if I could you download steal a, a car, car, would you? I'm like, I might die. Would you, would you <laughs> rob a bank? Well, don't pirate videos. It's the same thing. Well, yeah, it's kind of not. Dun, 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 like, you know, robbing, dun, 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 robbing somewhere usually like, involves you getting in, like, you know, a physical altercation with another mm. human being kind of thing. So, nah, like, I, don't <laughs> I could download a car. I might. Especially when you're young and poor. Like, super poor. Like, I make five dollars an hour. I would three D print and work twelve hours right, a week. You probably could get a three D printer. You I can't do anything or go anywhere. Hey, you and me both, Chad. If I could three D print a car, you best believe I'm doing that shit. Motherfucker, I have three D print a house. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, go. <laughs> three D printing that shit somewhere. My three D printer would be broken by the time I had finished the house. Three D print a house. I would have yeah. a fucking house. Yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly, Mullen man. <laughs> These movie studios that rob people of royalties. Yeah, don't don't Yeah, get fucked. Don't download a car. We're gonna do everything we can to like legally not pay anyone who made our films. Well, right, yeah. <laughs> not even legally. And like uh, not even that. You know why so many people were downloading music? You know how for how many years you would buy a CD and two songs were good and yeah. the rest were garbage? Fuck that, bro. I got robbed so many fucking times by filler CDs. There's only a handful of CDs that I bought that I'm like, damn, this was well this worth it. This album is great. This album from start to finish is worth it. You can count... Oh, shit. You can count those albums on one hand, bro. Kenny, best hip-hop album start to finish, go! 36 Chambers. Ooh. Thirty-six chambers, and all that's the, bangers. That's the that's the the, the thing with um, today is that now you don't have to worry about that. Everything is digital, so you just buy. Yeah, each, it's very you weird. You just buy each, each song, song, right? So now that forces people to put fucking good music, yeah, right? You can't put fucking filler anymore because nobody's gonna buy your filler shit. All eyes on me. I like that one. I like that guy. Chronic Dre. Okay. Oh my God, bro! Yes, the, the Chronic. Chronic. Yeah, yeah. The Chronic was immaculate, bro. The Chronic had so many of these different bangers. The Chronic, to me, like, is the Doggy number one. Style. Ah, that's pretty good. Doggy style was fantastic. 
like the chronic doggy style 36. Oh heavyweight. god! <laughs> the problem is, is that even as an artist, it's tough to make like what uh, 20 Shit. songs, 12 to, 12 to 15 songs, all of them are bangers. You know what I mean? Like it's it's difficult. Unless you're Michael Jackson. Unless you're Michael Jackson. And there you go. And oh my God, Thriller. Well, I think greatest hip hop album. Yeah. Oh well, when we talk about albums, we talk about Thriller. We can yeah. talk about uh, Thriller, and then we can talk about uh, Off the Wall. Yeah. Oh. yeah, and that's the thing is that he, some that's of them. The stuff, no, I know no. that's what I was. Yeah. But like even that. other stuff, like There's, even, it's it's impossible for. I mean, some of the songs are just expressions of the arts and what they're going through at the time. I, you know, and, I don't and, know. Yeah, and some of them, like, there's no possible way. And, and I understand the, the plight between that. Because you're matter. paying for an album, and you're not paying for certain songs on the album. You just don't want to hear that shit. I, but yet you're getting the full album, and then you have to pay, oh, you know, uh, 15, 20. Well, uh, albums really. back then were like, what, like 15, yeah, 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I I people understood story, what bangers were. You know, people understood, like, yo, this is good, this is amazing. But you, you, you don't want to, um, you don't want to oversaturate your album with nothing but clubbing. So well, it's not even about clubbing, it's just like good music. Yeah, those are bangers. I mean, there's no way, it's kind of like with um, Coolio. I remember yeah. Coolio did um, Thanks is Paradise. And he actually shopped that shit to, to be on his album. And the producers that were there, they're like, "No, oh! this game, uh, this song is extremely sad. It's not very good. No one's gonna like it. Just no, we're not gonna it. So he puts it on a, a, a soundtrack for a movie about you know kids and shit like that, and it becomes like a number one hit because people really felt the song. So there's no way of actually knowing. Why are we so blind it just comes, to see? Yeah, thanks, Paradise. It's just it's just one of those." Wonder, wonderful hits that people don't expect to happen. Oh uh, man, I remember like. I oh, want oh, that. Oh, oh, no. Like uh, which one called? Sonic. Oh my God, Max! Uh, Outcast had some amazing. Don't talk to me about oh, Outcast. Shit. Don't talk to me about Outcast. I'm pissed right now. What? I fucking uploaded a goddamn song of of me listening to Outcast, and literally 90 percent of the people. We're like, what's that? Oh, I never heard that song. What is oh. going on? I'm like, what the fuck? You guys never heard of Outcast? I'm angry. I'm angry. Everybody was like, bro. I was like, I put the caption, if she doesn't know this song, she's too young for you. And everybody's like, I'm too young for you, and I'm 39. I'm like, what the wow. fuck? Yeah, you never was... heard of Outcast when you're 39 years old? Yeah, that Get was the a... fuck oh, out of here. That was on your Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah, that was bullshit. You were like, I've never heard of that song. What the fuck? Our story title is pretty dope, yeah. I'm just mad at everybody that, that oh, answered me with, I don't know that song. I know that song. Oh yeah, there you go, Max. Yes. Yep. But, um, yeah, like, just too many albums that I bought as a kid. I remember I bought the Black Rob album because of, whoa. What was the best? There was only one song on that album. And that was, like, whoa. And all the other songs were just... Garbage. It's a gamble. It's the same thing. With Jesus, this, this thing hey, fucking Carlos, sucks. You, um, it's a gamble. It's just like vitamin. That's why. But a movie, you like you can't, you can't actually uh, return. You can't return games. Can't return movies. You can't return albums. Because they yeah. know once you buy the actual media, that if it's a flop, you can't ask for your money back. Which I think is the, the worst fucking thing. I think if a movie's bad, you should ask for your money back. The same thing as going to a movie theater. You go to a movie theater, and if you don't watch all the way through, you watch like maybe. Uh, 15 minutes, you're like, this is dumb. You I can actually to be go... like there was a cutoff date. Yeah. Right, exactly. You can actually go back up to the um, concierge I've walked and out get of your money back. And just one leave. movie in my entire life, and it's not, it was the Avengers, but not the Avengers you know, it was the Avengers with Uma Thurman. And... Yeah, I was gonna say, the one with fucking Ra uh, Ray Fiennes. Ray and, Fiennes. Uh, and, uh, Sean Connery Sean is the bad Connery. guy. Yeah. That was the only oh, movie wait a minute. I've ever uh, watched. The out. Prestige of a Gentleman? It's kind of like that. Yeah, it's a yeah, extraordinary gentleman. Extraordinary right, gentleman. It's almost yeah, it's like not that. that movie. No, I know what you're talking about. It's pretty close. The 19 it was pretty close. Yeah. 1998 Avengers. Uh, that movie was awful. Yeah. That's the only fucking movie. Like I bought that shit with my own money, and I'm like, what no, is I, this I, shit? I've, I've watched and sat through so many horrible ass films. I always stay to the fucking end. I'm like, I'm not. I not couldn't. Gonna, I'm not gonna hate this till I, I have every reason to hate it. I just walked out. There's movies that you know are just gonna be bad as you watch like the first 15 minutes. Like you can just tell just by the production uh, value, the acting, the pacing. Me and Max sat all the way through we, Splice. We watched all Splice. of Splice. 
And we watched all, all of, of Dragon Wars. <laughs> a Dragon Wars. But you guys started laughing. A like, character the gets of shot in the chest in Dragon Wars and get up and walks away. <laughs> Everyone gets to see Kenny itches back. Oh, well, this is interesting. Holy shit. All right, back. And Dragon Wars was all hyped up. Oh, yeah, it was. It was hyped up as fuck. I watched it on VHS. I, I, I literally uh, spaced out while watching the film. Because it was so bad. Character gets shot in the chest and walks away. But the thing is that we get suckered into stuff like that. Because it's fucking Dragon Wars! And people fuck is a fine giant dragon. Oh, you know, not and you look at the trailer and you're like, oh my god, it's gonna be amazing. And you just get duped and you won't watch it. Get your money back. If you don't like it, you should get your money back. I agree. And there was one other movie. There was just a little, maybe a lot. Um I remember I well, you guys loved I Iron Man 3. I just once I saw the Mandarin, I'm, like, Mandarin. I'm done. I'm done. But I didn't really walk out of it. I'm like, I just need to use the bathroom. Normally I wait. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Just... Chat, worst movie of all time. Oh, shit, the front Go. Hand. What was the movie that you just said? I, you know what? I'm fucking. I'm walking out of this. Shit. Worst movie of all time. Chat. Go. Ah! I don't actually say what is that that guy Uwe Boll, one of his fucking gaming movies. One of those the shit. room, the room is so bad that it was done. The room is it's so bad, it's good. Troll two, troll two, so bad it's good. He said the last Jedi. I, I... Last Airbender, I can respect that. But Transporters two, yikes, that's not that bad. Oh my god. Day two. Guys, did you remember Independence Day 2 came out and we watched it? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. I for, that movie was so forgettable. Oh, it god. was insane. I didn't watch it. That shit. Insane how forgettable it was. Woof. Yikes. Um, Independence Day it was 2 was bad. a thing? Oh, yeah. oh, oh was really shit. Great. Jack Skellington, thank you. Yeah, Independence Day 2 was beyond forgettable. <laughs> Dude, it was it was of the quality of like a raw thrills like arcade game. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> Independence Day 2 was like a raw thrills arcade game. Like a non yeah. like a non-licensed IP, just a random like IP they made themselves. Yeah. Super Tyler, thank you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Was this guy having a psychotic breakdown or what? No donuts! Ah! Optical Zero. Oh, look, Somebody it's raining the again. Emoji movie. Why the fuck would you go see that in the first place? Is the question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You didn't see the Emoji movie, Steve? Really, Max? Really? Yeah, I thought you would have saw it. Yeah. You see a lot of weird shit. Yeah, I do. I saw Ocean's 8, thought that was going to be amazing. Ocean's Ocho? Ocean's Kuleche. Kuleche? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a fucking uh, cool movie. I Ocean's said, Escuelita? I said, stand your book, sign me up. And that, thing movie, I'm doing. that movie was hot garbage. Wow. Really? Fantastic Four. That's a good one. That's a. That yeah. I've never seen a Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Oh my god! I mean, the new Fan Fan Four Stick. Any of them? Uh, any of them? I haven't seen any of them. Any of them are hard. Steve, did you I watch Fan Four Stick? Yes, I did. I actually oh. wanted to do that one. Oh. You know, I didn't watch the one with Michael B. Jordan. That was Fan Four Stick. That was Fan Four Stick. Fan Four Stick. I was I was hoping it would be at least pretty decent, but. I'm still, I'm still right, hoping. I mean, I know the reviews are really bad for the uh, X Men one, but eh, you know, shit. Phoenix can't be that. It can't be as bad. Yes, though. it can. Did you watch it? Not, not, not. One of these days. I'll watch it like on. I just, I was so amazed at how boring that fucking fan force thing was. It was insane, and how slow it was. That's what I'm hearing about Phoenix. Boring. It's just boring. Okay. Horribly boring. Hmm. I heard there's like one good scene, and it's like the train scene, and after that, <clears throat> it's like the typical non Marvel movies. There'll be like one really cool thing, and the rest. Of the that would would probably ruin a fucking Marvel uh, or 
uh, Phoenix for me. It's, it's just boring. Like, if they're just talking most of the time and nothing's happening. Well, not even talking. Like, for example, Days of Future Past is mostly well, talking. Well, yeah, talking, yeah, yeah. And it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm like, there's not a lot of action in this movie, yet it's the best, best X-Men movie. Uh, Tarantino seems to understand how to do that, that, that like, the most effective way possible. Oh, character dialogue. Yeah, he Tarantino. just understands that. Expertise. Oh, yeah. Mortal Kombat oh, Annihilation. Oh, yeah! Hey. Mortal Kombat Annihilation is oh, pretty yeah. bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I got this. I play platformers. Who's up? Uh, I'm kind of done. I want to play. Oh, oh, Max is playing. Oh, shit. Cool. I'm like... Yeah, Logan was best X Men movie. Logan best, Days of Future Past, Close and then, second. yeah, then whatever else. <laughs> I, I like the uh, what was it um, the second X Men movie? Um, X Men Two. X Two. Yeah, X Men Two. Yeah, it was the X Two. Uh, X Two was... United. Yeah, I thought that was like the best one. Some fucking uh, going shit here. Spin on it. Spin on it. Screw. It. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Next one, shoot shit. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I am dodging, asshole. Where's my Mario emote chat? Assassin's Creed was also, but I remember, I remember the, uh, uh, another ex of mine. You know, oh, like God. Some, He's getting you, but you're not assass getting uh, No, Ninja Assassin. I don't know, for some reason, I was super excited for that movie, and then I saw it, and yeah. There it is. There's my Mario emote. Oh. Ninja Assassin was a problem. Like I said, man, you always take these chances on these movies. Never know if they're gonna be good or not. But then again, I have a same. pretty good idea. Dark Phoenix was gonna be ass. I told you this like a fucking half a year in well, advance. Well, you you always look into who's making it. Uh, you know what are the the producers doing? Yes. All that stuff like that. You check the background of the actual studio. I just look at the characters. The guy who wrote X Men Three wrote Dark Phoenix and directed Dark Phoenix. Oh yeah, this is gonna turn out great. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Weird. Not to mention all the production troubles and shit. Yeah, Ninja Assassin was a K-pop theater or whatever. I don't fucking know. Okay. So, energy gravity. Yeah, you're actually changing their expressions and shit. Those guys got a screw loose. Oh, they got a screw loose. Hey, oh, we got to spin the other way. Shit. Let me get that mark. Whee! Unless you didn't want to play, Steve. You gotta roll. Unless you didn't want to play. No, I'm just, I'm just backing. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, no one. We weren't doing the thing you're supposed to be doing, Max. Remember four? There was actually four of them. <laughs> Is that the one in the old west? Oh man! You know they had that many fucking tremors. It's weird. Like, oh yeah, I remember the tremors. Dude, it's like sometimes you just don't know when to like, you know, let a fucking good thing die. Like, Tremors 1 was a, a really good fucking movie. Yeah, like, let the fucking franchise die. Let it go out on a good note. Seinfeld that shit. Yeah, Anything after Shrek 2. Yeah, that's another thing, man, where they're like, yeah, you Dude, should I probably saw, let I that. I saw Shrek the turd in a theater with oh, my shit. 
That was basically like let it let it uh, let it go out gracefully. You know? It wasn't like the worst fucking thing ever. Dude, Shrek was a good franchise. Right, but I'm like, man, I remember, I remember, it just didn't need to happen. I remember anymore. basically like going to see Shrek the Turd, basically just to like keep my friend distracted um, from a miserable relationship. <laughs> but man, it was just like these are the, the best description I heard of that movie was it's a bunch of celebrities sitting in a room reading lines and getting paid for it. Oh. Like, that's about as much enthusiasm it seemed like anyone had for that film. The thing is that, you gotta understand that these people, there's like jobs on the line. People's livelihoods are on the line when it comes to stuff like that. People gotta get paid. Or, yeah. Like, it's a franchise that's guaranteed to make money. And then people in the studio are like, why wouldn't you make a fucking other version of it? Like, we, we need to feed, like, we need to feed fucking people right now, you know? So... You need to work on something, make it that. Like Toy Story. We, everybody, everybody knows we don't need another fucking Toy Story. There isn't a single, even the fucking people who created Toy Story know that there doesn't need to be another Toy Story. But, you know, Mal's gotta get fed. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They know for a fact that it's a guaranteed win. Let's make some extra money and use that money to make something else later on down the road. And we keep our employees nice and well fed, but we don't have mass layoffs. Oh god, which is hilarious because when I say people need to get fed, we're, we're talking about the, yeah the one who owns the studios. It doesn't matter. You can be the most successful you've ever been and still get fired, especially if you work for Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Doing the best. I still got laid off. Hey, we're doing better than ever. So god damn like, it! We don't need to pay anyone anymore. Yep. Yes, in the short one, it does imply that studios actually care about the employees, but for the most part, we all know that. Some studios do. You just gotta hope you're you're working for the right one. Oh! Oh shit! That is a actual gap. Why do I have a feeling that the banana is gonna be the top? He yeah. said, "You're ugly." How can, how can you tell? Man, like, blowing his load. Shut up, forever. Video game, yes, video game shit going on right here. Splendid. Yeah, I think you're right. This would be MK better with mythology. Mouse. Seems like one of those uh, fucking exercise channels where you just jump around and do crazy shit. Rebel Campri. B4 Bananas. Bananas. My turn. Ninja. For Steve's turn. Yeah, I'm good. He's done. I'm ready for substantial. Steve saw the platform. Jam, jam. No! Okay. I'm not fucking. I, I like Sam. I like platformers, but I, I felt like I grew up. That's just me. <laughs> That is really fucking cool, actually. Don't grow out of here. Platformers, I always, always felt like it wasn't my thing. Same thing with, like, uh, you know, WoW and all that other shit. It's not my thing. And he's dead. Ooh! He dead, yo. Thank you. He did not dead, yo. Is 
This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm just a little death cloud. There's a shotgun. He can go right next to those guys. And give them the business. I do use my resources. I use them. Oh yeah, I played WoW. I played WoW way back when it first came out. I want to know what the hype was about. There's I have so many... never played World of Warcraft. There were so many people play. Oh god. <laughs> There's so many people playing the uh, game at the time that it like it was uh, becoming really popular. Damn it! And I think that was during the time when um, internet cafes were a thing. And I had like extra time on my internet cafe money, so. Um. I played well. Yeah, little I tiny, mean, little tiny bit. Yeah, exactly. Like you played it, you play it enough to where you decide if it's a fun game or not. And I played it enough to realize that I, it wasn't my. Game. Only thing I, not him. only thing about the game, it, it made me say, "Wow, people actually play this." That's that's uh, how much I, I figured about that. Wow, I was like, "Wow, wow." You were too poor to play WoW. I thought, well, WoW is like one of the, like the first free to play. Uh, no, it's not free to play. Well, the the what is it like um, subscription bullshit or whatever like that. It has yeah. Uh, but I could have sworn it was like um, you, you could now play like you could play to twenty for free now. Like yeah, yeah, you could play like sessions, later. sections or some shit like that, like for free or something like that. It was like you got a free game. month. Oh yeah, the first month I guess. That's how they get you. That's how they hook you. That's how they, that's how they get me to play for a month. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> well, damn, say what, like. I guess I don't know shit. If I don't know shit about WoW, then I'm being honest. Yes, I don't know shit about WoW. You seem very butthurt <laughs> about me not <laughs> being interested in WoW. I don't know shit about WoW either. Yeah. Damn, Steve, you don't know shit. Well, okay then. Yes, you are correct. I didn't know he was, he was all in his feelings about that shit. He's very butthurt. I think he's gonna go cry in a car. <laughs> you must know your shit about WoW or the chat gets angry. Makes sense. It's, it's, it literally comes down to if you play a game, you play a game long no, enough to whether no. you enjoy it or not. If you play a game long enough that no, you don't like no, it, no, no, you no, just no, stop no, playing no, it. No, no, no. This game sucks. Yeah. 2,000 hours on file. <laughs> wow, is low key trash. See, that guy knows what he's talking about. He's an expert. So if he says the game is trash, then yeah, he knows what's up. So I'm inclined to agree with that guy. Because he knows. This game sucks. I can't believe how bad it is. 750 hours of <laughs> oh, gameplay. <laughs> I'm the Joker, thank you. Low key, that's a key word. Low key trash. Would it be high key though? Oh. Yeah. That's a high note. Yeah. Oh, that's a high Yo, high note, this game sucks. <laughs> Samuel Terror, thank you. I do that sometimes. I, I want to know what the hype is about. If people are playing in the shit out of a fucking game and going crazy, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I wanted wow, to dab it right. eight more times. Jesus. I want to see a no hit run of this game. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know if a speedrun would be good because you can like avoid everything. But yeah, but it might be like a point-based thing too. It's like okay, you gotta yeah, yeah, beat cool. him with this much points, so you have to. Beat him. 